Hi, my name is KD. In this session, I'm going to talk about uh, billing and cost management in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I'm actually uh, going to break this session into two parts. Uh, in the first part, uh, we are going to discuss all the billing and account management options in, uh, that you can leverage using OCI console. Uh, in particular, I'm going to go over uh, cost analysis tools uh, that can be helpful uh, for you to uh, filter your uh, billing and uh, cost data and to look at trend lines. Uh, we will uh, look at budgets. Uh, what are budgets? How do you set them? And uh, how do you get alerts using budgets? Uh, and finally, in this first part, we are going to uh, look at uh, usage reports, all the data that you can get with them and uh, how you can access them. Uh, in the next part of this, uh, uh, of this topic, I'm going to cover service limits, compartment quotas, and uh, uh, wrap that up with the cost management uh, best practices. So let's get started with the first few topics. All right, uh, if you're familiar with the uh, OCI console, and I'm going to show it to you shortly, all the billing and uh, uh, cost management related options are uh, available under the account management uh, part of the console. Uh, right here, you will see uh, cost analysis, payment methods. Uh, there is an invoice option here now, and there is budgets and there is usage report. Uh, in this talk, I'm not going to cover uh, payment methods and I'm not going to cover invoices. Payment methods uh, let you see what your current, how you're paying OCI right now or Oracle right now. And uh, the invoices let you, lets you download the invoices from the console. Uh, these are uh, uh, finance uh, functions. And I'm focusing this talk more on the operations uh, uh, side of things. So uh, let's first discuss uh, cost analysis tools. So on cost analysis, uh, these are uh, visualization options um, that you can access using OCI console. And looking at, uh, they provide very nice trend lines. And so you can uh, detect patterns in your usage right away. Uh, and you can uh, uh, look at these patterns across different uh, services in OCI. Uh, it gives you functionality in terms of uh, filtering uh, so that you get the data that you're most interested in. You can filter by date. Uh, you can filter by uh, tags that you have uh, attached to your OCI resources. And you can also filter by uh, compartments in OCI. Uh, and to access these cost analysis reports, you need to be part of the administrators, administrators group. Uh, the IAM policy should allow you at least to uh, take a look at uh, the uh, usage reports uh, part. Uh, also, uh, an important thing to note is that uh, uh, these tools are uh, uh, are not available to all customers. I would say uh, they are available to most of the customers uh, in the United States who created uh, accounts in OCI after uh, January 28, 2019. Uh, you'll be able to leverage these tools. Uh, if you don't see this option in this console, it's not that big of a deal. The other uh, cost management uh, options and techniques I'm going to show you in this session would uh, help you get uh, similar uh, information and, and uh, get access to similar trends as well. Uh, so quickly, the filter options on the cost analysis tool portal is to filter by date. You can specify uh, the uh, start date and the end date uh, for your analysis. Uh, and there is a, a six month duration that you can specify up to a six month duration that you can specify. Uh, within OCI, you can uh, tag your resources. Uh, you can create tag name, uh, namespaces and then create tag keys uh, and assign values to those. These uh, tag keys are can be attached to uh, OCI resources. Uh, so within cost analysis tools, you can uh, uh, now uh, filter by these uh, tag keys so that you uh, you are able to get information about uh, uh, very particular tags that you are interested in uh, analyzing for costs. And finally, you can also uh, filter your costs in this cost analysis tools by your compartments. 
Uh, so you can specify uh, whether it's the root compartment or one of the other uh, uh, child compartments within OCI that you want to uh, filter your uh, cost data on. Uh, the next thing we will discuss is, uh, uh, is budgets. Um, the notion of a budget is that uh, you can uh, use budgets to set soft limits on your uh, OCI spending. Uh, and uh, uh, you can also set alerts on your budgets to let you know when you uh, might exceed your budget. And uh, you can uh, view all of your budgets and your current spending from a single place in, um, in OCI console. So let's look at uh, the console and, uh, and see what the budget page looks like. So as I said, go to account management and you'll see all these options. Uh, let's look at budgets. Okay, uh, the first thing to notice is that uh, you can set your uh, budgets either on cost tracking tags or on, uh, on the compartment level to track all spending uh, related to that uh, cost tracking tag that you're interested in or all spending for that uh, compartment and its uh, children. So let's, uh, so I've already created a budget, but let's uh, look at how uh, you can uh, uh, create a, a budget in OCI. Uh, actually, before I create a, a, a budget, let's uh, uh, look at uh, what you need to, uh, what kind of policies you need to uh, create budgets. So we will, uh, uh, you to create a budget, uh, you must be in a group that can use uh, usage budgets in your uh, tenancy, uh, and uh, you you know these are sample IAM policies that you would uh, uh, need to uh, write uh, using your uh, IAM policy section uh, that can uh, uh, let uh, a particular group inspect. Uh, usage budget or read usage budgets or, or use them or to manage them. Uh, and once your policy is in, in place, depending on the, on the policy, if you manage, then you can do everything on this budgets page. Uh, <clears throat> you first specify whether you want the budget scope to be compartment or cost tracking tag. Uh, let's um, Uh, let's just write a sample policy quickly so you get a sense. Uh, uh, then you need to specify the target compartment. You can specify it on root or you can choose the compartment you want. Uh, then you need to specify a monthly uh, budget amount um, based on your business use case. Uh, and uh, you know the the range is from a dollar to a really big number uh, so choose anything that makes sense to you uh, and then the alerts are optional but that's a feature that uh, lets you specify uh, the threshold on which you want an alert to be created and uh, uh, and you know get sent out uh, and you can uh, send a customized email message body uh, with these alerts. Um, the alerts are evaluated every 15 minutes and uh, uh, can be triggered under two conditions. Uh, the first is uh, when your actual uh, spend in OCI hits that alert threshold or uh, when your forecasted spend uh, would hit that uh, threshold. Right, so let's uh, enter some values so you can uh, create the budget alert on actual spend or forecast spend, uh, you can choose it. Uh, and then the threshold type could be a percentage of your monthly budget amount, or it could be an excellent absolute amount as well. So let's say when the actual spend is 80%, uh, uh, um, I would want uh, to send that uh, uh, budget alert uh, email message. You specify your uh, uh, your email address here, uh, whatever you want uh, the email to go to. And then this could be uh, your uh, custom image uh, uh, email message.
So with this, you can uh, uh, create your uh, 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 create your budget. Similarly, uh, you can uh, create a budget on the cost tracking tags. Uh, you know, the only difference is you need to specify the uh, tag key. I have a, a cost tracking tag key called cost center already defined and the value I want the alert to be initiated on is uh, the key value is uh, dev. Uh, so all the resources tagged with the cost and center uh, key tag key of uh, the uh, the tag key of cost center with a value of dev uh, would initiate this uh, uh, are part of this budget and can potentially uh, send a budget alert. So it's the same process. This is the only difference. Uh, the rest is same as the compartment process that we just saw. Okay. Uh, and then you can uh, uh, manage uh, this uh, 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 these budgets and you can delete and, and edit them, etc. Uh, these are screenshots of the uh, budget creation uh, process that we just uh, saw. And this is an uh, example uh, uh, email message that got created because an alert, uh, a budget alert condition was, uh, was met. All right, so now let's look at uh, uh, usage reports. A uh, usage report in OCI is a, is a CSV file, a comma separated value file. Uh, and you can use that, uh, this file to get a detailed breakdown of resources in, in OCI. Uh, the uh, usage report is uh, automatically generated daily and uh, it is stored in an Oracle owned uh, object storage bucket. Uh, each CSV file contains uh, one row uh, per each OCI resource, um, you know, any resource such as an instance you're using, any object storage bucket, any VNIC, any database um, that you're using in OCI. Uh, you get one row for each resource uh, and it is per hour. So one, one row per hour for each resource along with um, relevant information like uh, consumption, uh, any metadata that you have in there and tags that you have. Uh, typically, uh, the usage reports, they uh, contain up to uh, up to 24 hours of usage data and they generated once per day. Sometimes uh, there could be a little bit more than uh, more than 24 hours of data if there is any late arriving data uh, that, that gets uh, to be part of this uh, uh, this file as well. And uh, uh, the usage reports are uh, retained for uh, for a one year uh, period, uh, but you can obviously uh, download these and uh, and and use them and store them as you see appropriate. Uh, these are very uh, useful for uh, cost management purposes. So you can uh, uh, use these for uh, reconciling your invoices for any uh, custom dashboards, any any reporting uh, needs that you have. Uh, it's a CSV file, so you can potentially import it in your, uh, uh, in your analysis tools uh, as well. Uh, if you have uh, uh, multiple departments uh, using an OCI tenancy, which is a which is a common thing uh, among our enterprise customers, uh, you can use, uh, potentially use usage reports uh, for, uh, uh, for, for uh, uh, cross-charging uh, the uh, different uh, departments uh, as well. Uh, and it uh, lets you see uh, trends and uh, you can uh, get information like you get from cost analysis tools that we discussed from usage reports as well. Uh, before you can uh, start using or start accessing your usage reports, you need to uh, define um, an IAM policy for it. Actually, the first time you go to your OCI uh, console uh, on the budgets page, you would be uh, given uh, these policies uh, and you copy them and, and apply them in your uh, IAM policy page. You create a new policy and once you uh, create these uh, this policy uh, you are uh, which is based on 
uh, the usage report, uh, you are able to then access these usage reports. So let's take a, a quick look. Uh, I'm going to uh, first show you. So if you go to identity, uh, you can uh, click on policies and I've created a policy called uh, uh, usage report. Uh, and uh, here are the two statements that you need to add. Uh, and once those statements are in place, you will be able to go to the usage reports page and, and get access to these uh, gzipped uh, CSV files. Uh, you can uh, uh, download these files. They have a lot of detail. Uh, let's look at an example uh, CSV file I downloaded. Uh, so, uh, you know, you can uh, see it's uh, one row per resource and gives you a lot of uh, consumption information and tags and all this uh, useful information as uh, as well. And obviously, once you have this data, you can uh, uh, analyze this data right here in, in Excel. Uh, in this example, uh, create pivot tables or dashboards, or you can import it in, in your, uh, in any other uh, tools that you would like to uh, use for analysis as well. Uh, this page uh, just uh, shows uh, a sample dashboard that you can potentially create from a from a usage uh, report. So uh, in this first part, I'm going to uh, end this session right here. Uh, we looked at how you can uh, access billing and cost management information in OCI console from the account management section. We looked at cost analysis uh, tools and uh, how they are useful, how you can filter uh, your data using them, what kind of policies you need for them. Uh, we looked at uh, OCI uh, budgets. How do you create a budget? What kind of IOM policy you need for it? Uh, we looked at uh, how to create uh, budget alerts uh, on, on specific thresholds or if you're interested in, uh, in getting emails uh, about uh, uh, potentially hitting a budget uh, amount. And finally, we uh, looked at the uh, usage report option, um, the IAM policies you need to get access to usage reports. Uh, and uh, uh, we looked at how, how to get to usage reports from the console and we looked at a example usage report as well. Thank you for your time and I look forward to uh, uh, having you uh, attend the next part of this session as well.